the wait is over. There are few bigger days on the football calendar than Champions League final day. Fans are beginning to pour into the stadium and the tension is palpable. We have all the action for you live on EA TV. This is where every top-level footballer wants to be after a long season. The Champions League final. Only two teams left in the battle for Europe's Premier Club competition. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary on this final tonight by Stuart Robson. It is Manchester City, and they take on Fulham. Well, Derek, this is magnificent. The atmosphere inside this stadium is electric. Let's just hope the tension doesn't affect the players. It shouldn't do. Just look at the quality down there. players for Manchester City. Ederson begins in goal. Manuel Akanji plays with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Kevin De Bruyne plays alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And providing the main goal-scoring threat today is Erling Haaland. And here's the starting 11 for Fulham. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4-5-1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. And they're underway now in the Champions League final. We're about to find out which team is the best in Europe. Holland, Mares, now with Walker, De Bruyne, now with Grealish, who can he pick out, just the challenge that was required, They look as though they want to make this move count. But timely defending when it mattered. Well, we have to say, Stuart, respect and admiration grows for Kevin De Bruyne with each passing year. So many attributes. What are you looking for from him in this game? Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goal scorer needs. Composure, technique and awareness. He will certainly need to be tightly marked today. And he has options available. Well, for power, 10 out of 10. For placement, maybe 8. William. Has a go. Superb block. Riyad Mahrez. Gundogan. An effective ball. Holland. Can they forge ahead? Lena would have been disappointed had he not held on.
Jack Grealish. He has timed opportunity to take the lead. Denied by the bar. Back in play here. Corner for Manchester City. Now the delivery, and the danger still on. Stones, John Stones. Well, Fulham have the ball back now. Gundogan. Can he put it away? And able to close down the shot. Potential opportunity for Manchester City to take the lead. Corner kick it is. They favoured a short one here. Driving us in. Well, we really have to call that a squandered opportunity, Stuart. Well, what a waste that is. It's far too easy for the keeper. He should have made him work harder there. They couldn't maintain possession. Alexander Mitrovic. William. And a chance for them to notch in front. Oh, in it goes! The opening goal in the UEFA Champions League final. Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. So the action continues, and City looking to offer a swift response to that setback. Gundogan really good challenge well Fulham haven't been able to dominate possession as those stats tell us but their attacking play has been really incisive it's been a really good display from them so far it's really good without the ball and the all around performance levels have been high and it might be Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. But I don't think the keeper should be beaten at his near post quite so easily. I thought that was stoppable. <laughs> 2 0 here, and the ball is moving again. Rodri, now Holland, and Manchester City moving the ball with purpose. I couldn't find a teammate, unfortunately, and a throw-in to come. Can he play it in? Akanji, here's De Bruyne, the defender doing his job. And that's an important intervention. Holland. On to Gundogan. Grealish. There wasn't much in that offside decision. Could have been in business.
De Bruyne. And now Stones. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. And now the Champions League. Forty-five minutes separating these two sides from glory. The second half of the Champions League final begins. Walker. De Bruyne. On to Mares. Holland. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Harrison Reed. Not showing good defensive judgment. Promising looking ball. Wilson. Mitrovic. The goalkeeper did well to hang on to that one. And possession lost, intercepted. Wilson. Well, as the stats confirm, City have controlled the ball, but they aren't doing enough with it. They need to pass it quicker play forward earlier and show more energy otherwise they won't get back into this one oh big chance here Pereira must be and a goal they're running riot here almost out of sight Here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. Three goals without reply. And into the last 30 minutes now. That's really good and effective physical play. Gundogan gives it a go can they stop it going in able to clear the danger at least for now well goal kick just as it was looking promising a change in the offing for City Rodri and back with Mares Akanji now with Mares De Bruyne what a genuine opportunity but it was squandered goal kick time for a change then Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Kevin De Bruyne. Lovely ball over the top. And he's alone in the middle by the look of things. He had to score, and he does.
Well, here's the replay, and it's a simple finish in the end. But where was the defending? That's just not good enough. So back underway, 3-1 the score. Solomon Mitrovic might be a chance here a goal that's two for him today they simply can't stop him no wonder he's celebrating well you have to ask where's the defending the keeper is completely exposed but he still had to finish it and he did it really well it's a good goal Goals in plentiful supply. 4-1 currently. Silva. Mares. It's Bernardo Silva. Able to get his body in the way. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Mitrovic. Mitrovic. Pereira. Flag up, tight offside. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Five minutes left for play, and all pretty decisive. And a poor ball. Delightful pass. William. And making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. And the referee is going to add on four added minutes. Mares. Can they hit on the break? Opportunity it is. Tenacious tackling. Excellent defending there. Mitrovic. Strong play here. And there it is, full time, they are the Champions League winners. Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives. And they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. Here we go, the Champions League winners. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign.
Memories, memories. What would a celebration?